What's up, guys? This is Coach Ray, and today we're going to show you... Chill, chill, Coach Ray, chill, Coach Ray. So, oh, I'm going to put it on my computer, just so I can see what's going around on uh, and right here. So, I see people are joining in. So, good evening, good morning, um, you know, wherever you are and <laughs> whatever time is it. So day four of Europeans, it's uh, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Really? Or is it 10 p.m. already? 9 p.m. So 9 p.m. Day uh, three of competition is tomorrow. And uh, it's going to be masters and as well as disabled. So today we finished juniors. Um, yeah, very happy, very satisfied. We like... Like if you watched previous videos, follow me on Instagram or, you know, or, or Facebook, something like that. You know that uh, we we had one junior and uh, he won two gold medals left and right in 75 kilo under 18 years old. Um, it's it's not as satisfying as to win it in really big competition, but it's it's not athlete's fault when different countries don't show up or you know competitors don't show up so you know it's it's not what we're used to but um, it is what it is and there's nothing you can change so very happy very satisfied with that um, I'll ask everyone who joins in please leave a like under this video uh, more likes you give more people that follow this channel will see the live and they might join in it's very weird how it works but yeah please uh, leave a like um, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, please ask me in the chat. Um, today, like they had, we had some amazing matches, like in the super heavyweight youth men. So under twenty one youth men, there was a really crazy match versus Lithuanian and Ukrainian athlete. I will post it a little bit later. Uh, it was like, uh, yeah, they they went to war there. Um, yeah. Today with Kristaps, uh, we didn't expect him to win right arm. To be honest, his right has bugged him. Even now, on the first match, he he kind of had a little crack, and he kind of felt it. He kind of straightened out his arm. I said, "Fine, doesn't matter if you cannot straighten out. The only is important that you can hold it close." So uh, that was a joke, you know. If you didn't get it. But yeah, Kristaps did amazing. He just uh, went to everyone. The guys in the class uh, that met on the first round. So the system that they use in Europeans and Worlds pretty much is the same if you don't add any new competitors. So the people that you faced or the, the whole tournament system on left arm will be pretty much the same on right arm if, if you do not add or, you know, get rid of any competitor. So... Um, Backed out Twitch stream for coach. Race haircut. <laughs> Cheers, Fox 8 Ball. He's not a real armistice super fan. But yeah, uh, juniors, some really great matches. Uh, the finals, uh, Ukrainians goes really hard. It's They're really technical and it's uh, very cool to watch. You know, some of the... Uh, some of the people that competed today and yesterday, they will be the future of arm wrestling. There's no doubt about it. Oh, Samson's in the chat. What's up, buddy? So, uh, yeah, you kind of you you kind of need to keep an eye on them, and especially when they're you know very very good. Um, they 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 will be the future. It's inevitable, in my opinion. You know, inevitable. I got it from Bowen. But yeah, um, we're lucky. Yeah, Ryan. Uh, yeah, Ryan. There's a, there's no chance Ryan can compete in Europeans because it's European Arm Wrestling Championship. Yeah. So tomorrow is uh, like I said, Masters. We'll have three Masters uh, from Latvia. In two of them are in the same weight class. Uh, two of them are first timers as well. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, but um, day, day five and six, that is Saturday and Sunday, will be the senior men. And uh, even though there's, like I said, like big countries, you know, are not here, like the biggest countries, the most athletes. 
but the competition looks really really tough to be honest it looks very very even 75 up to 90 looks pretty pretty crazy um yeah please like the video it it, it helps to bring it to more audiences you know because i'm gonna be here a while at least at least 30 minutes 40 minutes maybe more depends on what you know Sanders is um, Sanders is cutting weight. Uh, he's already in a weight class. He's very happy, and he'll be here on today or Friday morning. I I forgot. Yeah, Sam, tell me. Yeah, top guys from Latvia are pulling. You know, I, again, it's first two days is juniors. Second two days are masters that are veterans basically, and five and six day of competition are seniors are open. That's where everyone else. Yeah. Uh -huh. What are your thoughts about starting late in the game? I'm a year or two older than Devon. Love arm wrestling and consider getting into and pursuing more. Uh, like you, you can get you 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 will never know how far you can go if you don't start. So uh, arm wrestling is like the thing. Like you know, we we talked even with Christoph yesterday. I said like he's 18 years old. He just got 18 years. So I said like imagine you. you pretty much can do this for another 40 pretty much so armistice is great with that even if you start later it's fine maybe you will not reach up but it's still gonna be fun it's all it always is it's uh there's we're competitors we're friends it's uh you know there's a lot of good stuff even just coming to the practices not even competing on, on uh, in the championships you know that's good too yeah I'm not been, okay, let's see. Let's see what else is. Did Larry truly beat you? Yeah, Larry's. Uh, when I left Dubai, my right, my side pressure wasn't going, and I couldn't, cannot do anything with him. You know, hundred uh, percent. And and I believe he has improved even more now. So happy with that. Selling my house, moving to Latvia, going to train with the team. Give me like ten minutes, though. No problem, no problem. I'll we'll be back home in four days, so you know, chill, chill. <laughs> okay, anyone seen the yep, yep, yep. How is the energy? It's good. So you guys gonna run through them easy? It's uh, there's nothing easy here, you know. However you look at it, it's arm wrestling. You never know, and it's a really tough competition. Yeah. Too. My tendons and forearm get twisted. I get restriction on my movement. I don't think it's tendons that get twisted. It's most likely the tendons will always the tendons cannot take different shape. Most likely, it's the muscle that gets uh, uh, some trigger points or it gets stiff or it's kind of pulling. So you should first look at the muscles and then look at the. T Everyone's like tendons. Tendons is not the answer. Tendons is when you start. That's when the tendons are gonna hurt. But still, even if the tendons are hurting, the muscles are blocking. So first work out the muscles and you might have a solution. Okay. Uh, okay, are you right pulling? Yes, I'm pulling. I'll, uh, I'll try 85 kilo class. I haven't prepared for this. I actually have more time taken off than ever before. So I'm not taking any stress. However it goes, it will go, you know. Uh, I will compete with both arms. My left is really bad. Like, it, it hasn't been really good for quite some time. But uh, after Arm Wars, where I took the match with Adrian Popescu, like, I wasn't prepared for that match. I just took it. So I kind of took some time off uh, from, from stuff where I was feeling pain. And it actually feels better. So I, I don't know how my left will do. My right, you know... Uh, if I don't mess it up, my right should be pretty, pretty good. Yeah, please like the video. If we can reach 100 likes, you know, however that is possible, it's 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 gonna it's gonna explode. You know, we'll have more people because YouTube doesn't send notifications to everyone, it or shows to everyone. You know. Okay. Solution. Uh... Actually, considering if you know the fuck out of the way, I'm training my top. <laughs> I think you can beat Ryan Bowen. Don't care. 
Stupid. What's up? I hear a pop sound more often. Worries parts in my forum happens lately. How am I supposed to cure myself better? I'm addicted to armor. So seriously, I like just now. Um, yeah, so those, those popping sounds, you know, sometimes they will not, not go away. Sometimes they will, especially when you start, the muscles and tendons are not like it's when the popping sound, it's usually tendons that goes over the bone. They are kind of not used to the stretching and, and pulling on all those positions where you're putting it in. So it kind of, it takes some time for it to be, how to say, to get used to it. And, you know, you kind of, so some of those guys will do like a full wrist flexion with a bar and they will feel popping sound here. And it will happen for three, four weeks and then it's gone. You just have to keep to continue working on it. It's you're 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 kind of changing the structure of your arm but not really you kind of making uh so, some parts you know more elastic more you know different so s same way your muscles hurt and and kind of change your body you know <laughs> i get popping sounds eight years later and never get ones and and get new ones every once in a while yeah they will come and go sometimes you will because one, one part of your forearm is pulling more than the other, and you will have those. Did you notice the under 18, 80 plus champion, you know, I think he from Croatia, if I'm correct. Ivan, is he from Croatia? Yeah. Vlad is competing in 80 kilo class. I'm pulling 85. Uh, Frank. Thank you, Frank. Frank says, thank you. <laughs> Do you consider training of the emotional dimension in the craft? Um, it's it's not training, you know, you cannot train, you can kind of choose how you got to react to things or how you're going to be and, and try to put yourself in that position. But whenever, whatever happens, happens. And it's so many things you cannot control. Yeah, so I'm two creations were in the final of junior boys both look very good so good for creation yeah but for frank uh, emotional dimensions thanks for your answer it helps me to figure out what to do and the mindsets too yeah the how long after you started training you how long after you started training you message can delete it yeah please like the video you know tell it to your friends uh send a message to your mom you know yeah um what else happening yeah well, well like the classes 75 looks really really interesting there are so many good armor stars like Svetan Gashevsky went to 80 Oleg Jok is coming back he will be in Vlad's class we kind of forget about him at all because he he you know after the accident he's He's been off, but he's competing. So, uh, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't think it's a good day for Vlad. Uh, I think Vlad will try to do something. And we don't know how strong Oleg Jok is. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see with left arm. When is John Devon match? How long after you started training, you get the feeling you were pretty fond of the sport? Uh, every time I came back for more elbow pain. Every time you like, you said like, this is enough, I'll take some time off. And then two hours later, you arm wrestling with someone. That's how you know you like it. <laughs> arm wrestling is weird. Yeah, yeah. Oleg has been back for two years already. He hasn't just uh, went internationally. And he's kind of staying low key a little bit. John and Devon is pulling Dubai. I don't remember. December 11, 12, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I talked with... Um, I think I will make another video for this. But I can, you know, get, get a little bit uh, behind this subject. Um, so, I met a lot of juniors and a lot of juniors you know they wanted to do good and it kind of didn't work out as they planned and just this is my experience whenever i see a junior doing like being top of their class in europeans or even worlds 
they can win open class or have wins over way heavier, way older competitors. So if you're a junior under 18, and let's say you're 70 kilos, uh, it also depends on country, but in most countries, if you're, if you're the strongest junior there and you can beat seniors in 70 kilo class, you're most likely a top three in the world in your, in your weight class, or even, you know, maybe, maybe a little lower depending on competition, because it's way harder to win, let's say seniors as a junior in Kazakhstan than it is in some different country. So it comes with that. But my advice to everyone, so for everyone who's starting arm wrestling or, or, or junior who wants to go to Europeans or worlds and do their very best and, you know, win or something, if you are not the really easy winner in your class and you cannot fight with, with grown-ups, let's be honest, with grown-ups, with, with senior men or open men, you know, that you, you cannot win. Yeah. All these guys are, are most likely the, all the champs that could do really good in their junior class, could do really good in senior class as well. They might not win, but they, depending on the country, they might be very close to the top. They might beat most of the guys. That's how you know you are good. So my best advice for everyone is stop chasing your class. Look for a class above, you know, and if you're heavyweight, you know, just go and look for a different competition, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When super match Ryan Bolt. Ryan is too heavy for me. Why, why would I pull Ryan? Plus Ryan's in Australia, you know. Okay. This little thing, she wants to kill me in sleep. Love, love my... Well, that's nice. Don't worry. There are many wrist straightening exercises, but you were to pick one exercise to enhance wrist straight. Which one would you recommend people like me who want to make their wrist like made of metal? I, for sure, I wouldn't pick one exercise. I do many different variations on many different exercises. Picking just one exercise, you're kind of stuck on the same place. It can, there's no, I haven't found that really great arm wrestling exercise that hits your finger flexors, that hits your wrist in a full range of motion. So all this, sometimes you will do some, with rolling handle, you can have when the tension stays here, but if you're using something for your fingers, the tension is trying to escape here. So, I haven't found that great exercise. So you need many. Choose choose and do different. Is Alan Salu still a junior? I think yeah, I think he's under twenty one. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. So what has Ryan been doing? <laughs> I've been uh, really focused on this. Haven't seen any any new videos, anything. You know, uh, I, I saw today that he announced that he will have like, a, uh, not he, but um, Lachlan is going to have a lead match in 110 kilo class, which is really good. Um, from what I noticed from the comments, looks like it might be Morozo, you know, which is, uh, which is an interesting match for sure. So we'll see. We'll see. How do you rate fundamentals as priorities? Brazen said finger strength is the is the last as importancy. Is the last as importancy. Yeah, well, his his finger strength is one of the best. You know, his 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 finger strength and finger containment is really really good. Uh, I would say everything that goes with hand is the number one. Uh, then it would be pronation, and then back pressure, and then side pressure. You know, yeah. So. So hand rotation, back pressure, side pressure, you know. Yeah. Just get it off the deep, okay. It helps with tightness of the back of hand formation. I watched in one of your videos that you're pulling comb puller, made me really want to get one. Yeah, comb puller is really like I have really strong these two fingers, and this is because of the comb puller. So I take comb puller, it fits in my hand and I can work on this and pretty much if you if you see how I arm muscle I arm muscle like this even if I'm when I'm top rolling I, I I dig deep with my fingers and then I can go but if I go in hook or even a press 
this right here, these two fingers, this pressure here is the thing that is working. So cone puller for, for pretty much everyone is beneficial, but if you're inside puller, it's way more beneficial because you kind of learn to, not only to uh, contain, but also to curl in, so yeah. What do you think about Saunders versus Lohan? I think that's a good match. I think that is a good match. Um, hey, Ray, thanks for the light. Why is Ryan so full of bull? <laughs> How would I know? <laughs> hey, man, he tried. He tried. Yeah, Morozo is way bigger. Maybe someone else. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you use cone puller upside down? Yeah, yeah. Or to work these two fingers so for me it's like these are way weaker than these so I, I use it for balance but upside down it, it feels very weird it feels very very weird because the cone is trying to escape here when you take it down so you can you can actually block it with your thumb so now when you take it the other way around it still tries to escape because there's nothing holding it from this side so um, yeah, there's there's problems with the, every design. No, there's I haven't found that one perfect handle that kind of works for everything. Everything that has you can work on your fingers, and you can still work in your grip. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Okay. Corn puller. It's not corn puller. Sanders. Why is Sanders being so mean? I think he hasn't eaten it in two minutes, and now he's pretty mean about all, everything. Hello Ray, are you the man behind Armors in Quest Instagram account? I don't have time for any more ventures, so no. I heard Australia opened internationally travel for vaccinated citizens. Oh, nice. How do you see the match versus Sasha and Todd? It's an interesting one. It's um, depends on in what kind of position because Sasho can get really, really ahead, and I know he has a good, uh, good hand, and it's an interesting one. I, I, I really cannot pick and favorite in this one. Depends on weight where they meet. Uh, depends on a lot of things. Uh, it's, it's a war. It's something we would really want to see because uh, Sasho cannot top all him. Even if he goes through, you, you need to be fast to finish him. So they're going to end up in a hook. Um, can uh, Sasha is very good at getting in the center and kind of getting on your opponent's arm, especially now. So that is a very interesting match. But but um, yeah, for me it's very hard to predict who wins. Uh, I I like both of them. I will uh, like I said before, Armersling wins with this one, and uh, we will uh, we will see a war. We'll see something that. Uh, that we always want to see, like two guys going in a hook really, really hard, you know. Hey. Hey, Ray, do you think Ryan lives in the fantasy world? Does he generally think what he says? Um, I don't know. Like, it's it's on him. I, I, cannot, I cannot comment on what he thinks and well, I don't know, buddy. Yeah. Sanders, do you have any upcoming super matches? Let's see where level is. Sanders will compete in European Championship, 110 kilo class in three days. So no time for thinking for any super matches. He went to, he already broke his training for Europeans because he went to Arm Wars. But um, now he's he should be in really good, solid shape, rested, strong. Uh, we'll see how he does. And then in three weeks, we have World Championship. So... Those are priorities right now. Rich said you can versus Irakli. Who will win? Well, I would put Irakli's right arm and Rich's left arm. So, Howdy, sir. I would like to make a match with the European. Who would you think would be a good match? My man. My man. Big Spur. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Georgi. Georgi Tsvetkov. Georgi is, is here right now from George, uh, from uh, Bulgaria. Uh, he looked massive. I think that would be a really good match. Uh, I don't know. I think his left is pretty good now. It's his right has usually been better, but I think you will see him. I think he will win. 
you know, I, I, I don't see anyone beating him as super heavyweights. So, yeah, Sletko versus Spur. Hmm? That would be a good match. Yeah, that's, that's Cody. That's Cody Merritt. Um, Ryan Bowen, 100% believes what he says. And what about Zerano and Totsilo, but in a hook? Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. My level is European champion two times. Tribet is received. Tribet Vlad. Iraq would beat Spurs with every arm, unless Spurs is like 90 plus. Are you sure? I don't know how big is and, and how good his left is right now. I think uh, I think he in a super match. I think Vresh can drain everyone. You know, I think he ha I think he can. But again, Vresh is different weight class. You know. Hey Ray, can you help me out? I heard John say he had two weeks before his next match. Do you know who is up for John and what his schedule is after that? <laughs> John will have another match. This is the first time I'm here. Is John really having another super match before he faces Devon? <laughs> that man is insane. You know, most high caliber armistice, they will take like, you know, three months to prepare for this, four months for this. I need a rest. John's like, next weekend. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay. Two more. Okay, cool. Yeah. In in and out. Okay. It's like, yeah, I, 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 will, I just work about my stress ball, but... You know, I can rest for an hour and be okay. John Bersenk is crazy. Uh, Irakli versus David Dadikian will be interesting. Yes, I'm picking David Dadikian in that match. Um, when you're hooking your opponent, is it better to go as deep hooking position as possible to an effective delivery of power? Yeah, always. The deeper you are, closer you are. Yeah. I didn't consider the match. He looks for tanks. I have considered that match. I think, uh, Cody, it's one of the best options for you, to be honest. Uh, let's see how he does now. And I think that that would be... Yeah, maybe on East versus West, I can talk with Engin about that match. Because that would be... Yeah, that would be a really good match. Uh, Tsonov beats Svetko's lefty. I think Cody is the favorite here. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how he does. And uh, let's see from that, you know, because uh, I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. uh, John's schedule matches. Middle lot of other matches between the rounds. <laughs> Place. The question is when Devin Cody is happening for number one left hand is USA. Yeah, that's 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 a good match too. I think I have worked out that the stream figures are low. You need some sort of hashtag armor in the title so your YouTube recognize it. We didn't two hundred and four live chat. Really? Let's try that. Let's try that right now. I will edit the, the title of this video with hashtag armor sling. Arm wrestling and let's see if it promotes. <laughs> the premiere is also called 30 minutes before, but I think the title that the YouTube algorithm can read recognizes the key. Good luck, hope to remember as well, buddy. Thank you. Like, where's your picture, man? Why do you have no picture? You know, you tickle your limits, but no picture. Uh, he definitely has a match with Engin and Zaluyo scheduled. Uh, if we talk about John, yeah, but that's after. Yeah. So, folks, see, see the edit. Yeah, changed for me. <laughs> Let's see if, if we can get more people in this. Oh, I did 1000 push in 40 minutes. I challenge you to do more 1000 30 minutes because you're really strong. Thank you, I have better things to do than do thousand <laughs> push-ups. <laughs> Call for elbow pain is real arms and the motivation. Yeah, it's... Uh, Devon's classy finger. <laughs> I have a picture. Yeah, that's a good picture. Cody Levan lefty is another interesting one. I think Cody... Uh, Cody is strong, but I think, you know, Levan is... It's way different level. It's it's way different level. 
but you know wh who's ever at the top should be facing who's ever at the top at the same time so yeah need those matches need those matches see nothing changed no one's watching no one cares but i think the picture is pretty terrible but that it's very dark here <laughs> but yeah got to push through the pain if you can't arm so it's not for you that's the truth sorry yeah it kind of is the first pain that you got you know you kind of just have to push through and it's it's Cody Armisole with a broken arm, you know, what excuse do you have? Yeah. Strong Arm Productions. Bulgaria is in the house. So, Strong Arm Productions. It's in Bulgaria, I'm, I'm correct, yeah. But, uh, Valentin. So, do you think Cody Merritt versus uh, Georgi Tsvetko, left arm, would be a good match? Have you considered walking on your hands for training? How would it help? Pronator is muscle or tendon? It's muscle. Tendons are connect bone to the muscle. Mm. Very big fan of yours. Crash Ryan, whatever he says, he's <laughs> fantasy world. <laughs> it would be a good match for sure. So um, how is Georgi's left arm is it because at one point he had some injuries and everything else but is it is it good it's broken I might have stopped had I known Cody see you don't tell people those things you don't tell that you might stop if you know you broke your arm don't tell it the story is way better how I tell it <laughs> yeah as a non also, who wants to get into it is there a good pain or bad pain like how do you tell the difference between standard pain that comes with arm missing and pain of injury <sighs> most likely you will not feel any pain before something happens uh, with your arm like you, you know but uh, in arm wrestling all the pain that you will feel will come from tendons being in very weird positions and that will you will just you will just you'll get used to it and it will come less it's it's very hard to describe like really bad pain will not allow you to move or you will feel sharp pain that's indicator when you should be stopping but if if you feel just you know you feel pain but you can work to it that's normal for our wrestlers you know yeah how often do you work out your wisdom for brachialis bits so back pressure is usually twice a week uh, and hand is pretty much every training session, something for the hand. Snapper, oh man, this is for you, Ray, just because you're a great content creator. Oh man, thank you. Thank you, that's a big super chat. Getting those uh, Devin Larratt numbers. <laughs> Ain't trash, tag 14. Making a comeback, Ryan Bowens discarded. <laughs> yes, he had a couple of injuries, but currently is good. Not his, not as his right hand, but still okay to pull. To be great, if Cody participated, both worlds and see how they will go. Yeah, we're well, thinking something more of a super match, maybe. You know, uh, two giant dudes. You know, why not? Where can I get the cheapest Anderson table in Asia? The cheapest would be make it by yourself. That would be the cheapest one. Mm -hmm. China. Are you going to King of Table 2? Doesn't look like that. Ray, you know what the silly salmon is? Please tell me. That was classy finger. The damn numbers. Dude. I might, I might not live on streets with these kind of super chats. Appreciate it. You know, how much do you think they sell for? Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube it. <laughs> Silly stuff. No, I I will not YouTube it. No. Fo Fox is is trying to set me for a trap. You know. Uh, <laughs> no. 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 Yeah. 
Um, what else I wanted to talk about? Yeah. I guess that's pretty much it, but let's see if you have any more questions. Because I'm kind of bored. Uh, I'm working a lot. Of, you know, some, some stuff I need to be working on. I work on my computer. And then I get bo not bored, but, you know, kind of just too much. Plus, I'm cutting weight, you know, to get to 85. It's a few kilograms. So I, I didn't eat good dinner. So I'm really angry right now. Hangry. Trust me, bro. It's funny. It's... Okay, let's see. Let's see. Silly salmon challenge. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's good. It is good. It's funny when, when people are around, it's like, let's see one more. Yeah. Okay, fuck's sake, bro. Mm. You know how classy I am. Ooh, you're very classy. Thank you, Dallas Classy Papers. What do I have? I have nothing to drink here. I have some, I have some ammonia, some smelling salts. These should be good. These are really good. Oh, better than morning coffee, so. <laughs> a 300 pound right. Oh my God, you know, I'm, I'm super short, so I would be just square, just big square walking around. 300 pounds. <laughs> Bro, I tell you, when are you getting married? It's okay if you don't. In the next few years? I think John Brzezink would have a tough time if he wasn't his prime today, because today's armistice had gotten up their game. How do you know? I always like, like, if, if the same guys that were fighting with the best are still there after 20 years, <laughs> how? How do you know? So uh, someone might win or lose, but, you know, the best has always been the best, and I think everyone can hang with anyone. So it just... In arm wrestling, we don't have luxury of understanding how how good level someone is. Uh, I love the comments when someone's like, his strength is 7,000, but he was 7,300. I'm like, where do you get these numbers? <laughs> you know, it's like, it's it, it, like WL, uh, the stats before the matches. It's like, you know, it's, it's all made up. I'm like, where do you get this? I, I'm looking at the stats, I'm like, how does this works so it's kind of fun thing we have fun thing we have but we don't really know so it's very hard to figure out how strong someone was back in the day it, but, but you cannot make statements where it doesn't when you don't have any real facts and the facts are the same guys that were at top 20 years ago are still here crazy so just say like did they wear like 20 times stronger or five times or two times stronger at that time most likely not there you know it's percentages like 20 percent you know i think john you know i think he will show up in really really good shape and uh maybe it, it would be harder for john to bring down monsters but you know you, you need to understand even 40 year old john was beating Ziplenko. You know and, and all those other things it's 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 a it's a weird discussion and i don't know too but i i don't make any any of these Oops. or is this alive should have been dead yeah take care buddy thank you supper jump is like two, 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 two. over nine thousand probably talking about that but King of Table 2, and who's going there except the two goats. Um, I think we know two matches. We know Larry and Brandon, and we know John and Devon. That's it. Five foot nothing. Oh, man. Oh, man. Every, I think everyone saw the Ryan Bowen 5, part 5. <laughs> the, the whole edit is just... I'll, I'll be honest, I watched it three times. I watched it today two times because I was like 
<laughs> let's let's remind myself what's going on there. It's just it's it it is funny, you know. It it is funny. <laughs> yeah. If you had the world's tallest form of what the three muscles would you train? All of them. Why would I train three muscles when I had the world's tallest forearm? The peak of last arm is lower than the peak of today's arm is like. Okay, do you train chest to stay tight in arm or something? I train chest specifically for the moves I do, but most likely I just train do my bench press because you know I love my bench press. I don't really believe what John's saying that is not always focusing on working out in gym sessions. He can't generally become that much stronger. I don't think it's just tendon that covers. I don't think it's just tendon that covers every impact like you need to understand john john's workouts were on table he did a lot of table you know he worked on table so much it's it's very hard and you can go and look at the interview i did with john and i did with uh Todd hutchings and you can pretty much get the picture how they work on there's not a lot of people who work that way and get that strong john first of all i think he had he has the spirit genetics he would like the one of the greatest techniques ever. He's gifted with very strong hand and he just knew how to utilize it, how not to not to just arm muscle with his strongest hand, but actually put his arm in positions. And not you need to understand almost close to it's let's say like this. Very little part of arm wrestlers actually do that. They usually arm muscle where they are their strongest. They if your top roll is really good, they will just go on table and just practice by top rolling everyone. John was like, okay, my top roll is good against this guy. My hook is bad. Let's just, let's arm wrestle and hook. And you can get there. I don't know if you can get, you know, in front of John, but you need to have that mindset. And when you hear John talk, it is his mindset. It doesn't ma matter what you believe or it's, it kind of is the truth. It's not like John was like, hey, secretly I was working out this, you know, because John will tell you about the exercise. Like he doesn't really understand the exercises. He's like, but he understands how to work on table, how to feel. And that's the difference, you know. <laughs> Cracker, come on. <laughs> Put it this way, God doesn't even bet against John. How about Herm Hermes versus Gennady? Or just a rumor i think that's just a rumor uh, uh hermes will pull with with tubin and gennady is not in pil and gennady might pull on some other event okay do you think lachlan there now would do good at zloty any chance to win his weight class winning his weight class is a long shot but he did very good last time i think he would do way better this time how do you get into arm wrestling? What were your favorite pull, pullers growing up? Um, there was a table in school I went to, and that's I met my first national champs and started arm wrestling with them. And my left was really good, and I just started going to competitions. Somehow it catched on. You know, there's a bigger story there, but that's the short version. Uh, yeah, the first ones I saw, of course, they were like so Frode. I saw them on Eurosport. It was uh, John, it was uh, Devon, Jeff Hale, yeah, for sure. And there's some others. You know, the, the videos that were really popular in those days were the ones I took off. Uh, Giannis was big inspiration because Gian Giannis was local and I just, I, I remember the first time I saw him pull international, it was like was painting a masterpiece, you know, so. Hello. Maybe in my mind, but the John's with the since I think that's thirty nine years. Yeah. Yeah. The designs have to be better, they have better drugs and all plus what the sport doesn't evolve to have stronger athletes. Yes, but they might be better, but we cannot say that everyone is better. You know, if the same guys that are on top twenty years ago are still on top. Rustam. Uh, Zaluya, even Giannis, you know, he's pulling for close to 25 years. So it, it, the same guys are there. 
and you cannot say it's it depends on which generation are we talking about. Are we talking about generation twenty years ago, but still, John was was the king twenty twenty years ago. So, it's it's an interesting one. Uh, uh, I don't know. Street talent, not outside session, but utilizing a porn session. Yeah, I, I, watch that interview. I think I put a timestamps where we talk about training, the present training. Go back, listen to it. If you really want to develop, and it's hard for you to develop in the gym or something, you know, because I like gym training. That's that's the part I really enjoy. But I also love pulling, and they they kind of fight with each other. So I have to do less stuff on one or the other to do more there. But uh, it's 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 all here pretty much. If you figure out a way for you to get better, not just fi figuring out on you to lift more, you know, that's how you can evolve. Is pulling uh, in pulling John? I want to say he started working arms when he was like twelve or something. His first opponent to beat was his mom. Yeah, he was from Armisen family. His uh, his brother and and his father. I think he's part of two years. They were armistice, so it's uh, well, his legacy. How to get better, hit and ready, go. You need to understand what you're doing and you need to practice it. Um, just it, let's say how this. If you want to do any kind of move efficiently, first, you cannot do that move fast if you even cannot do it slow. So understanding how you do it slow and then basically slowly increasing speed and just trying to make it faster. Plus, you know, working on those ready goals sometimes helps uh, that. But some will say hitting rubbers. Ah, I, I, that's, that's how you just can get that connection of moment plus ready go or something or speed, whatever. But the best way is actually to do it on table. Actually to do it on table. I'm 13, I want to be a future champion. Dude, you're 13, that's exactly, you know. You, uh, to, to hit your strength peaks or everything before, you know, when you hit your puberty, that's when you get just gonna get stronger by doing that. Like, um, the, the big big story with, uh, so, if you, if blah, 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 I get lost. Christoph's from Latvia, so he got uh, two gold medals with left and right in Europeans. His story is way different than Vlad's. Vlad came in after 30 days. He was already beating most people in the gym. In a, in a year, he won uh, his world ti world title in juniors, and then he just you know continues, continues to getting better and better. But he was really gifted at the start. Christophs on the other hand, he came to first competition. I think he didn't get a single win on his first six competition, spanning in two years. But he came together with his father. And he just continued, continued, continued. He was 14 years old when he started, but he couldn't get any wins. And now it's basically four years later, he's he's really high level. And th this is the one where I cannot say, like, maybe he is gifted, but I think he's gifted on that. He understands how to get better, how to work hard. They train like savages with Vladislav. Like, like Vlad trains like me, I train like a savage. We train long, hard, don't care. My body is usually beat up. Vlad can sustain that. He's he's always, his recovery always been perfect. So he went to the city where Christophs lives in and started training with him. And they kind of needed to keep up his pace. And so yesterday we talked and he said, he's lifting the same weights he's, he was lifting when he was lifting when he was 16 years old. Same exact weights, but he's, I don't know how many times stronger from beating no one to to pretty much beating almost uh, everyone in his weight class in Latvia and, and even winning overalls and winning European championship. So it, it is, you need to have mindset, like I said, with John's. You need to be conscious about your training. You need to be conscious about getting better. And the best part is get the partner, get the training partner that understands what you want. Uh, like you both have goals. But if you both just come and try to win each other, you will not get better. If one can control some position, the other one should figure out how to beat him in that position. And then the other one, and just, you know, being conscious about your training and being there and being under, under like 
being part of the training because most people just go and arm wrestle but you, you can arm wrestle when you go to competition but when you go to practice you should really be practicing like like i will get here like my like the guy asked about the start he needs someone that can hold him and he just tries to attack him and then you kind of try to derail him like pull him back hit pronator hit the hand everything you know so great training partners uh being honest like understanding how to get better you know and the best way to get better is not about ego trying to win practice who the care who cares about practice if it's open practice and we come to arm wrestle that is completely different but if it's like uh, we, we will not film practices where we actually are training we will film practices where we are arm wrestling because those are two different kinds of practices that you can have so yeah yeah <laughs> so many questions that i missed i'm sorry guys yeah uh, is it worth doing as many reps as possible for example brisk curls like do slow reps with easy weight until failure whatever works for you you like my best advice for everything is check it if you you never know what system works some guys like to go to failure and they will get better some guys like to use heavy weights control them some guys will use medium weights and just move really fast try whatever system you want stick to it for four weeks and then you know if if you get better okay good i can continue with that if nothing changed well you have to change something and if you get worse well for sure you need to change something do you ever get injured from weight training um uh, like, like not directly but you know i usually will have get injured after i do my training session and then getting on pulling and so my some i have some tricep issues that i have had for the start of the year and i didn't get them when i was bench pressing or doing something you know my back is pretty messed up so i can say i, I get injured from weight training <laughs> it took me a while yeah uh, why is matt pulling why is matt mask pulling vitalik shouldn't be something like Devon. matt mask pulling Devon. what fake or straight okay uh seek victory and find frustration seek greatness and find victory Blood versus Saunders right hand. Who do you think will win? Saunders is really good right now, and he is he is heavier. It's it's it would be very hard for Blood to beat him. Uh, Saunders is elite at his weight, and Blood is elite at his weight. So the weight difference is thirty kilos, pretty much, maybe twenty five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The stronger the stronger you make your opponents, the stronger you can get from training with them. Yeah. The, the the training partners are really important this is why you will see some great guys coming from regions where it kind of there is nothing going on because they understand how to train and they train for each other bulgarians have great success in that you know they they train so much so everyone kind of understands the system they don't don't arm wrestle even even in turkey i heard they do the same thing <laughs> i love you and i love cat <laughs> When, when you're on day off of your training, you have arms complete rest to get fully recovered. What is what is this um, day off of your training? What do you mean? I, I sorry, my English is very limited. I don't I don't understand. No, sorry. Uh, I'll take yeah. If I take complete day off, like from arms and training, you know, I will not do anything from any training. I might go swimming or do something like that, but you know. Um, <laughs> Neil loves Ben, Coach Ray loves cats, Tadzilla loves Miller High Life. <laughs> That's a good one. I have been bicep curling the same max weight for one year and I can get better at it no matter how I change my work. I train four or five times a week. Any advice? Really appreciate it. I don't know. It's, you know, you, you might hit the plateau. It's, you might 
you know what what can you do with that weight you know can you really control it are you kind of messing yourself up by lifting it you know change change the exercise keep it similar but change the uh free weight barbell dumbbell whatever you know um lefty and my left arm is best compared to my right arm so i'm lefty and my left is best yeah makes sense Thanks for mentioning it, right? You made my night. Yo, I'm on. I try to be honest. You know, Hungarians are doing right. I think that's everyone kind of has their understanding how you should be pulling. And when you just come to arm muscle, you just come to arm muscle. But when you're working on positions, I think there's there's great, good understanding, especially in a high level of Bulgarian arm wrestling, how you will do your pulling sessions. So, hey, professor, see you. Thanks for the coaching training videos, helped me so much get into the sport. Good to hear. Hey coach, just joined. Yes, I will compete. Okay, uh, next time. Maybe we'll. How far can you just can just gym training get you? Let's say you get metrics of someone who's a pro. Do you think you'll find it easier on the table at that point? Uh, you cannot get better at arm wrestling if you don't arm wrestle. And if it, 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 when you get really strong, it really when you get strong but you don't have that coordination it's very hard to put it all together because one part is so strong that you're kind of relying on it so everything should be done in synergy together so this is this is why so many strong guys take so many so long time to actually get better on table because they're so strong in that one position they kind of rely on it so do everything together, arm wrestle, you know, lift weights if you want. Yeah. Okay. Code, what is the weight limit of standard arm wrestling table? Because I don't know. I don't know that word. What do you think about health, Dennis, to plank out? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I hope he's fine. Uh, I don't know how could go. Like, if if his health can get worse he shouldn't come back for arm wrestling or for anything you know he just uh, he should keep on living and don't mess it up it's interesting to see Oleg's comeback as far as i know he'll compete in his usual weight class you're like welcome take weight you can curl put it on something else helps uh, way down the push-up muscle eccentrics will work yeah weighs 210 big bones yeah 210 sounds like big bones I looked on YouTube, can not find any videos on how to referee an arm wrestling match? There are videos about rules, but no videos teaching how to be a good if you made some. Yeah, I was thinking about that. So, yeah. We'll do. Who do you think win in seven weeks in Dubai, Dylan and John? We'll see. Arm wrestling wins again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, uh, I appreciate everyone who joined in. Um, yeah, it's late evening. I'll catch some sleep. And tomorrow is day three of European Arms and Championships. So uh, I appreciate everyone. I hope I helped you with some some insights, some of my, some things that are on my mind and answer some of your questions. Uh, yeah, most likely I'm going to do this tomorrow too, just to talk with you guys and just give you updates on what's happening. And uh, yeah, stay strong. Love arm wrestling. Cheers.